so for dkim spf and dmark uh, this is little bit complex so let's take an example of amazon parcel right so how amazon is actually sending you a parcel whenever you are uh, you know uh, ordering something so now amazon have a courier right he wants to send to you he will select the firstly the transport through which transport that parcel should be uh, you know uh, come to you now that transport particular transport is your spf the sender policy framework correct and now when you receive the parcel right so whether that parcel has been modified has been damaged or there is some you know uh, obviously the stickers of amazon through which we can identify uh, this is the amazon parcel whether those things are modified or not so dmark is generally checks the integrity right so in technical term it actually generate one of the public key and at the receiver the receiver checks whether it is matching or not the authenticity basically the authenticity you can say now what is dk uh, dmark dmark is a combination of dkim and the spf now let's uh, directly jump to the technical terms i hope this example will help you to understand now i'm going to correlate all these uh, technical terms with that amazon uh, example so that you can uh, better understand now the first one is dmark dmark stands for domain based message authentication reporting and conference now it is a email authentication protocol protocol so whenever i email is you know uh, you are receiving uh, at the behind the protocol is working that that is the mark the uh, you can see the uh, authentication protocol correct now there is lot of things in that first thing is that the spf and dkim is the two existing email authentication technologies in that dmark so under the dmark we can define the policy right the first one is p is equal to none means if anything is coming right it means that email receive should take no action right so whatever the your uh, 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 the security at the your gateway that is not going to take any action whatever the email it will come it will you will get it now the hard fail p is equal to reject so if you are uh, uh, just checking your policy as p is equal to reject then no no email is going to come a p is equal to all all or you can say the p is equal to quarantine quarantine now this is totally based on the spf and dkim checks so if the spf and dkim checks is fail then that mail is going to be quarantined it is not going to directly come to you so these are the some different policies which is actually in the dmark so now let's let's jump to the spf what exactly the sender policy framework is right so it's again the email authentication method that allows the domain order right so what actually the spf having spf having the list of servers through which i'm going to send the email right so now those servers might be the multiple right not not the single one but actually it can be a multiple servers so this is what spf contains that is the list of servers now so if that list of servers matches then the spf will be passed if not the spf is going to be failed now there is two categories soft fail hard fail now what exactly that soft fail is the so now these things nobody tells guys so soft fail is nothing but uh, it's uh, you can say the half fail half rejected and half passed right so it is denoted by this tilde right and hard fail is that the fully failed means it is uh, you know unauthorized or you can say that that uh, particular list of server is already not in that spf list so uh, for the hard fail uh, generally it is can be denoted as hyphen that is the hard fail now let's say, talk about the dkim that is a domain key identified mail as i said that it generates one of the public key which actually uh, you know matches at the receiver end so so that if it matches it is authenticated then it is the dkim will be passed if not then the dkim is going to be failed 
so it it has no uh, kind of hard fail or soft fail this is very very clear that you know uh, if it is matching that is pass if it is not matching that is fail very simple so i hope this these topics uh, uh, will be helpful for you and that example of amazon you can correlate so that you will be uh, you know you will you can uh, remember that example in a very long time so we'll meet in the next video we'll talk about the email spoofing identification